Is it me, or could Microsoft be about to take on Notion head-to-head -head for the second brain title fight for your digital productivity systems this year? Hi, I'm in Barcelona. I've been here for a couple of weeks, more than a month actually, working on a theatre show. I've got very little time. I don't have a teleprompter. I want to make a couple of videos. So I've recorded what I want to say, and I'm playing it back to myself in here productivity hack. Over the last two to three years, Notion has had an exponential growth in the productivity sphere and now, for the hype at least, seems to be leading the pack in transforming our options for custom personal productivity and team management systems. I've been building one on the channel. It's grown a huge user base. Just attending the Notion block by block conference over the last two years has shown that with users going from 10 to 30,000 to that conference. So many of these established providers such as Evernote and Microsoft have been a little late to the party in this area. Here's what you need to know and why you might want to take Microsoft Loop seriously. So here's the thing, over the last year or so I've developed this complete digital second brain system in Notion for myself and for you guys as a template and if you don't know Notion is a fantastic block based productivity platform that you can create really anything you want, a custom workspace to make your life easier with. But I'm starting to ask is Notion under threat by a serious competitor? Microsoft and the new technology it's exploring with this forthcoming release of Microsoft Loop has the potential to bypass and even surpass what Notion currently offers us for both team workflows but also maybe personal systems. Microsoft Loop works inside existing applications like Microsoft Teams but it will eventually come out as a standalone application. The Loop component could simply allow teams to turn it on and have a comprehensive set of tools inside one suite with Microsoft and have many of the functions that Notion currently offer but within their existing email and file management platforms. So that's quite a big thing on the market. Notion's better databases and synced databases, even its exciting news of the Cron Calendar acquisition this year, will help to grow the range of support for teams to build custom pages in Notion for their projects, customer relation management, all that kind of stuff, productivity systems. But it could easily be surpassed by Microsoft Loop in some areas because of that potential for deep integration with existing Microsoft services like email. It will help people integrate and simplify their systems within their existing workplace. What do you guys think about it? Is Microsoft Loop and this new approach they're taking really a threat to Notion's dominance in this field? Let me know in the comments. Okay, that's Teams. But where does this leave us and our Notion personal systems? Well, ultimately, Microsoft Loop is unlikely to threaten the pure personal custom productivity possibilities of Notion, say that in a hurry, for individual users. And I, for one, breathe a sigh of relief about that because, well, I've invested a lot of time and energy in making my own and uh, I want to keep using it. Recent releases like Tiago Forte's book on building a second brain are just showing how powerful this world is and how many people are engaging with this idea. I think since the pandemic and more remote work, more working at home, having a system to help run your business, your life, or just stay on top of things has been incredibly important for people. And you guys have been using my Notion templates to do that, which if you haven't heard about them, check them out. <laughs> Honestly, plug in, huh? So Notion remains, in my opinion, the best place to start your second brain journey. But for teams and businesses looking for an all-in-one solution to manage their work, we need to take Microsoft Loop seriously this summer. I believe Notion still holds the crown for our personal needs. It's free, powerfully customizable, and with the new API over the last year or so, surprisingly flexible for automating your specific workflow needs. In fact, you should watch one of these videos next for how to use Notion to run your life from tracking your habits to running a business or even a YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for coming, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.